Uh, start. Everybody, okay, please reset again. Okay, who wants to add? Good afternoon, Sir Robert. Good afternoon, Catholics. I am here today to report about this thing in the name of the Catholics. I was assigned to evaluate the name of the Catholics. X squared is minus 5 x plus it, and x approaches to negative 2. To find the name of the Catholics, x squared minus 5 x plus it, and x approaches to negative 2, we need to use the values of x as we put it to negative 2 from the left side and the right side. And then we will use for their factored values. From the left side, these are my chosen negative values. And these are negative 3, negative 2.5, negative 2.3, negative 2.1, and negative 2.1. Next, we need to substitute the, the value of x for the function x squared minus 5 x plus 6. So we need to substitute negative 3 into the function. The answer will be positive 30. Negative 3 squared is equal to positive 9. Negative 5 times negative 3 is equal to positive 15 plus 6. So the answer will be the answer will be plus 3. Next, we also need to substitute the other values of x as well into the problem. So, if x is equal to negative 2.5, the answer will be 24.75. And if x is negative 2.3, the answer will be 22.75. Next, we need to substitute the other values of x as well into the problem. So, if x is negative 2.1, the answer will be 20.91. And if x is negative 2.01, the answer will be 20.0901. As you can see, as x approaches to negative 2, the function approaches to positive 20. So we can say that the limit of the function x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 30 as x approaches to negative 2 from the left side. We also need to do the same thing from the right side as well. So these are the chosen values of x. These are negative 1, negative 1.5. Negative 1.7 is negative 1.7 and negative 1.5 Next, we need to substitute the value of x for the function x squared minus 5x plus 6. So, we substitute negative 1 for the function. The answer will be positive plus 6. Negative 1 squared equals to positive 1. Negative 5 times negative 1 equals to 5 plus 6. And the sum will be negative 2 plus 3. Next, we need to substitute the other values of x as well. So, if x is negative 1.5, the answer will be 50.75. If x is negative 1.7, the answer will be 17.39. And if x is negative 1.9, the answer will be 19.11. If x is negative 1.99, the answer will be 19.9141. Same as from the left side, we can see that as x approaches to negative, the, the function approaches to positive 20. So we can say that the limit of the function x squared minus plus x plus 6 as x approaches to negative 2 from the right side is equal to 20. Since the limit of the function x squared minus 5 x plus 6 as x approaches to negative 2 from the left side is equal to the limit of the function x squared minus 5x plus 6 as x approaches to negative 2 from the right side we can say that the limit of the function x squared minus 5x plus 6 as x approaches to negative 2 is equal to 20 as it's